Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Silky Skykin, and this is a something a little different. You see, when I started getting interested in making Let's Plays and started a full-on channel for this, um, I was pretty much just going to do exactly that, Let's Plays. But unfortunately, I sometimes come across a game that I would love to make a video of, but I just don't feel that I could do a proper Let's Play of. This is either because the game is too long, or it isn't structured in a way that would make it good for a Let's Play, or, well, I just started playing it and getting into it, but I haven't properly Attention mastered it. Just skip the intro here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> haven't properly mastered it or whatnot. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. So instead of doing Let's Plays, I'm going to make a new series and call it Let's Faff About In. And for my first episode of Let's Faff About In, as you can probably see, I'm going to play the 1997 classic Carmageddon. Now, I won't lie, I don't have a very long history with this game. I only just recently bought it off in GOG, and to be honest, I'm kind of kicking myself for not trying it sooner. This game is just... oh, it's... it's just... It's amazing. <laughs> it is simply awesome. But enough of my rambling, um... Let's see... Let's actually st play this, shall we? And I'm not gonna do Mist Me, because that's... You see, this game's... one of the best parts of this game is that it takes place in huge open environments. And, um, Mist Me is not a good example of that. So we're gonna do Avenue of Atrocities. Let's hit it! Done. So basically what this is, is a destruction derby game. Literally. You can play it like a normal racing game. But, you don't want to play it like a normal racing game, no. You play this so you can squish people and smash other cars. And watch me get totally demolished at the beginning of the race. Wow, that was, um... <laughs> uh, the curse of recording, I tell you. Luckily, you can recover. So, yes. Basically... It's a racing game, except you can run over people when you earn credits for that. And you can also smash into other cars like a giant destruction derby. And in fact, there are three different ways you can uh, win a race in this game. You can either win it by actually playing the race properly, which, well, nobody does. This is Carmageddon. You don't actually race it like a real racing game. So most people just do one of the other two ways, which is either by killing all of the humans, or the pedestrians, on screen, which can take forever, because if you look at the top of the screen, it says that there are 594 people in this lap map alone. Or you can win by simply destroying your opponents, which is what I'm going to do. And you do that by smashing into them, Destruction Derby style. What more can be said? And like I said, this game is just... it's awesome. I'm not sure if it's very evident from, from the screen, but this game is just a load of fun. I mean, it feels wonderful. The controls feel great. The soundtrack is... well, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of metal, but it works for what it is. It works perfectly for this kind of game. And come on, running over people is fun. And you earn money for it. Who wouldn't want to do that? Oh, shit. Again. Oh. I can assure you, I am better than this at this game normally. But yeah, I've already wasted one opponent. I've got about four other opponents. I'll make that two opponents. Soon to be three. If I can, you know keep up. I think I want to bump up my profit a little bit by killing some more pedestrians. Oh shit, we got cops. And yes, there is an APC, like an arm APC type deal that serves as a cop in this game. And they are nigh on impossible to destroy. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to bother. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to run over more people. <laughs> Uh, 
Games like this are proof that I am a horrible, horrible person deep down inside. I may be the nicest guy ever if you talk to me, but... Oh, oh damn it, I missed her. Come on, let me kill you. Come on. There we go. Yeah, like that. that that's just proof that I'm deep down inside. I'm, I'm absolutely horrible. Ooh, that's too wasted. Let's make it another. Oh wait, that's three wasted. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Kill more people. Yay! Splatter bonus. Head on bonus. And yeah, there's like little bonuses for killing someone in a more spectacular manner. Like drifting into them rather than just ramming them head on. Or hitting an object and killing someone with an object. Or ramming someone into a wall. Bunch of nice little bonuses for that. Let's see. There's two opponents that I still have to go after. Oops. Forgot. Oops. I need to pay attention to the road. Oh! And as you can see, that, that, he, that police dude is really annoying because he does massive damage to you when he hits you. Okay. That's four. We have one more to deal with. I can get this damn cop to get away. Oh, damn it. He barely even hit me that hard and destroyed my car. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. No, stop it. I hate you. <laughs> I hate that thing. I really do. Luckily, it's just me and this guy. Let's do this. There, and since I've wasted all the opponents, uh, the race has been completed. So yeah, that's Carmageddon in a nutshell. <laughs> Not much more I can really say. But yeah, this game is just... I would highly recommend this game. It's ten bucks on GOG and you get the max pack, which has all of... which has the, ex uh, the splat pack which is, was the expansion pack. I haven't played that yet, but I certainly am when I'm going to get the chance. But this game is just... fun. Simply is. Let's see... Pit Stop, Industrial Injury... Let's do Death Valley, because some of the other ones aren't very open and are kind of annoying in certain ways. And this one doesn't have any water. That's one thing I hate about this game is that um, if your opponent goes into water, it becomes nigh on... It becomes really hard to get them out and kill them. Come on. Oh, somebody else got the flag man. I wanted to kill the flag man. You get lots of points for killing the flag man. Oh, well, I'm just gonna have to do with this guy. Or this girl, excuse me. <laughs> The prostitute, as I call her. She's probably not a prostitute, but she looks like a prostitute, so I'm gonna call her a prostitute. So yeah, like I said, bonus for artistic impression. Oh, whoops. Oh hey, I need to be recovered again. Like I said, this doesn't happen that often when I'm playing this without recording, but the curse of recording has hit me pretty bad. Come on. Let's see, where are they anyway? Oh, some of them I think have already fallen down there. Yeah, they're all pretty much down in the pit already. Let me kill a few more people first. Yay! Run over your guts and blood and spread them everywhere with my tires. God, that makes me sound horrible. This game does nasty things to you. It makes you think in bad ways. I mean, it's just bloody and gory and almost disgusting in certain ways, but god damn, it is amazing. I'll make short work of you. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay, so you're gonna try and run away now. That's okay. Let's kill more people. 
Yay! There goes the prostitute. And then soldier guy and a worker. No, that's not a worker. That's some dude in a... Can I... No, I didn't get a pile driver bonus for that. As you can probably also hear, your little character on the other side of the, the top hand of the screen does talk a bit, and he does get a little annoying at times, but... Eh. I don't mind him. He can be turned off. If it really is that annoying to you. Okay, I'm gonna make short work of you. No, I didn't. I didn't waste him. I would have expected that to have wasted him. Come on. Okay. Oh, he has already wasted. When did he get wasted? Somebody else get him? Maybe they did. Curses. More prostitutes! Damn it, I missed you. Ugh. Let's see. Where's another guy? He's around here somewhere. Maybe he... Oh, there you are. Ugh. I'm gonna get you. There you go. Head on bonus. And those eagle-eyed viewers might notice that this seems very, very similar to the cult classic Death Race, Death Race 2000. Which, well, you'd be perfectly right in noticing that, because this, from what I understand, was originally supposed to be... Um, in one of its incarnations, while development, was supposed to be based on the sequel... the... Um, comic sequel called Death Race 2020, but that license fell apart. So instead, they released it as its own game. And I'm thankful they did. Because it's awesome, like I keep saying, and it honestly kind of makes me want to actually watch Death Race 2000 now. I mean the original, not that remake with uh, Jason Statham. I don't know if it's actually any good or not, I hear it's not that great, but hey. The original just looks like awesome 70s silliness. And it inspired this, so obviously that's a good thing. Okay, that's another one wasted. Let's see. Let's see if I can waste the last two guys before my time runs out for this video. Okay, that's one more. One more. Come on. Yes! Success! So, oh, I ranked up. And I'm pretty sure this means that I can now access a new... Yep, I can access a new race. But yeah, as you play through the game, you also unlock money, which you can use to upgrade your car. I already have... Oh, what's this? Steel roll cage. Yeah, I've pretty much already unlocked or upgraded my car as much as I can at the moment. So I can't really do anything there. Plus, as you rank up, you also earn new cars. Like, for example, I can drive that um, dragster thing that you saw a few times. And this uh, Japanese thingy. I think it's Japanese. It looks like some sort of Japanese car, I'm assuming. But that's all I've unlocked. I'll just stick with this car for now. So yeah, that's Carmageddon in a nutshell. It is a fantastic game. Like I said earlier, it's on GOG for $10 and I would highly recommend picking it up. Even if you're not really a big fan of racing games, you'll, you'll probably find something to enjoy in this. I mean, you can run over people, and you can smash other cars. What's not to love? So yeah, that's been my first attempt at a, one of these Let's Feff About videos. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you around another time. Take care, folks.